Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to do our very first stitch and this is called a woven spider wheel. And it's what we're doing is we're doing a woven rose. So you can see right here, we have a woven rose right here and then also one right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're doing um, this one. We're using the Sulky Color 0640 for this particular woven rose. Now what you're going to do is you are going to stitch right through this embroidery pattern and you are going to stitch these lines right here. So you can see I'm just going up through the bottom and then I'm doing a straight stitch right along those lines that are printed onto our pattern. Okay, now we're going to come up and we're going to go to the center of our wheel and you're going to come up. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to weave our way through these lines. So you're going to go over your first thread. So we're when, and when I say threads, I'm talking about these straight stitches that we just made, okay? So we're going to take our needle over the first one and then under the second one. So you can see I'm going over and then under. So now the next thread, this one, I'm going taking my thread over and then I'm going to go under my next one, okay? So you're simply going over and under each different thread and you're just going to keep doing the same thing as you weave right around. You're just going to want to go over and under. So you just remember that, over, under, okay? And we're just going to keep repeating that and go right along. Okay, so you can see I am almost to the end of my rows now. I have gone to the outer um, edges of the circle on my pattern. And you'll notice as I was going over and under that I didn't pull my thread tight. I left it very loose because these woven roses, you want them to have dimension and you want them to have like that 3D effect. So you don't pull them tight and you're not going down through the fabric. You're going um, just simply over and under the threads of the straight stitch. So as you get to the end, then you can see I'm just softly pulling through. And then once I am ready to be done, then all you have to do is take your needle and put it down, just poke right down through when you're done. And then we're going to tie a knot right here on the back side to finish off the woven flowers. Okay, I have threaded my needle with the next color, which is the Sulky 0580. It's a beautiful kind of mint color. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do another woven rose right to the other side. You can see right there, I have this other woven rose. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to do our straight stitches right here along the line. Um, we're gonna come up, we're gonna go through the center. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing for this woven rose. It is a much larger woven rose, and so just remember to very loosely keep those threads going around so that you have a nice dimensional rose as you're going along. So let's go ahead and do the next flower.
Okay, you can see that I'm nearing the end of this cute woven rose. And you can see as I'm going along the edges, you want to make sure to fill outward that you are not putting your thread too much on top to cross over, that you're really staying towards the outer side of your stitches. So you can see I have my needle and I'm really filling towards the outside and I'm not putting my thread on top because I want to fill outward, if that makes sense. And what you can do is you just kind of keep going until you run out of thread or you're you know, happy with your results. And then you just simply will tie it down. So I'm gonna poke my needle down, flip my hoop over, and then I just tie a knot in that back. And I always find a thread on the back to um, loop through to tie my knots. And I always do um, two knots just because you want it to be secure so that nothing comes undone. And then just simply cut that off. I like to keep my tails really short so that I don't have a messy backside of my stitching. Now, the other fun thing you can do on your woven roses is you can actually kind of fluff them a little bit um, with your fingernails if you want to. And that will just kind of pull out those threads a little bit and make it a little bit even poofier. Is that a word? <laughs> poofier. So you can see that they are just absolutely darling to do your cute woven roses. So that is how you do a woven rose.